brothers. Retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death, and our enemies shall fall. And here it is, Warhammer 40K's Dark Angels Deathwing Knights, a very iconic unit for the Dark Angels in Warhammer 40K. I'm going to turn this around. On the back, you can see what your Deathwing Knights can look like once assembled, uh, and that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So first off, you have your build guide all in full color. Great depiction of the Deathwing Knights on the uh, cover here. You can see the instructions made it very easy to uh, put together. You can see the different options for the weapons available for your Deathwing Knights. So we'll just flip through this real quick, as you can see. And then on the back, the full color versions of the models all assembled. Lastly, you have your data sheet. I'm going to zoom in. So yeah, that is the build guide. Next up are the sprues. I'm going to show off a couple of the sprues here. I actually uh, started building uh, one of the uh, Deathwing Knights uh, prior to actually filming this. So the last sprue will have some components missing. And here's a closer look at one of the sprues. The uh, iconography on the shields and the pauldrons. Very, very well detailed. All right. And then the next sprue. And then the last brew in which I actually started building from, as you can see, most of the components on this side are missing. This did build one of the Deathwing Knights. I'm going to show that on the screen after I flip this over a couple times. And then the figure that I built. Beautifully done. Beautiful. All right. All right, next up is your decal sheet. As you can see, there are quite a number of of uh, decals here you have your standard dark angels raven wing your uh, decals based on battlefield role so you have your battle line uh, close support fire support veteran and squad numbers here in white you also have your vehicle markings right here as well as the successor chapters the guardians of the covenant and angels of redemption this is a great little transfer sheet that gives you a lot of variety that you can use for your other dark angels Finally, you have your bases. You have a baggie of 50 millimeter and two 25 millimeter bases, one for the Watcher in the Dark and one for the Teleport Homer. All right, since I've already started putting this together, I'm going to go ahead and complete the other models. We'll see what they look like assembled. And here they are, the Deathwing Knights all assembled and primered. I haven't primed the Watcher in the Dark or the Teleport Homer, but I wanted to get primer on the Deathwing Knights themselves. I'm going to zoom in on a couple of these guys. We'll just pan through. Beautiful models. As you can see, I went with the swords and uh, two guys with hoods. Actually, three guys with three guys with hoods in the front here, and then two with the standard Terminator helmet. As you can see, these figures are quite large for Terminators. In fact, I'm going to do a size comparison with the old Deathwing Knights model. I'm just gonna put these aside. We'll bring the old one. We'll bring the old one on the screen here. As you can see, there is a huge size disparity between the old models, the old version of the models and the new um, right there. So let me put everybody back in here. We'll just call that guy the little brother. And there it is. So uh, easy kit, uh, very uh, nicely detailed, a lot of the Dark Angels aesthetic, and as you can see, quite large compared to the original Deathwing Knights models. So, all right, that's it. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That's the best way I could personally interact with you and chit chat you about Warhammer 40k and any other game that I cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Warhammer 40k unboxings from Wargaming Noob.